morning, everybody. Hi. Morning, Val. Morning, Mood Moss. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Stephen. Uh, good morning, Shannon. Good morning, Marissa. Good morning, Diane. Good morning, Julianne. Thanks for joining. How is everyone today? I'd love to know your word of the day. We've got word of the day, we got love, beautiful, we got confidence. My word of the day is stillness. I thought today would be a good day for that. Being still. <laughs> Celebrate. All right. Cool. So five minute morning stretch this morning is gonna be all about the hips. We're gonna do some hip flexor stretches. We're gonna do glutes. We're gonna do internal external rotation. We're gonna do some twisting, mostly standing. So um, yesterday when we did shoulders, I hope you all felt that. I felt it, <laughs> it's really good. And um, today I think you're gonna feel your hips pretty well. Julianne says her word of the day is calm. Beautiful. Good morning, Tanya. Thanks for joining. Shan says rejuvenate. Yeah, what a beautiful day for that. Relax. Yeah, cool. Morning, Kate. Good morning, Stephen. Or no, not Stephen. Smile7. I read that wrong. All right, let's get started. Ready to go? Let's do this. Okay. Legs are going to be... Nice and wide, toes are gonna come out a little bit, 45 degrees or so. We're gonna squeeze our glutes, we're gonna open up our rib cage to the distance between our hip bone and the bottom of our ribs. We're gonna open that up, we're gonna push breath in there. Ready, arms come up, deep breath in. All the way up. Good, wrist circles here, really lengthening the fingers. We got those magic hands, those jazz hands. Keeping the breath in on the exhale, bringing all the way behind us. Good, breathing in, come all the way up. Deep breath out. Breathe in. Wrist circles, other way as well. Good, breathe out. Awesome. Let's heel toe those feet in. We're gonna bring the left leg forward. I'm gonna come onto my back toe. And I, what I want you to do is I want your hip to come forward. So if you're ever in class or your trainer says, tuck your hip forward, this is what they mean. So everyone do this. I love being able to do, what I teach clients is do, the, do what you're not supposed to do and then you'll know how to correct it. So what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to be in an arch position like this, right? What I want is I want you to tuck your hip under and what that means is moving this hip bone right here from this position to this position. So it's straight down, it's in line with the ground and not going backwards, okay? So I'm in this position, I'm on my back toe and I wanna tuck the hip under, which means I'm squeezing my abs, I'm pulling my, my hip bone to my rib bone, really shortening the distance here. Arms are coming up, clasping them together. And then from here, I just wanna kick this hip out towards you and I want to stretch. Moving my upper body towards the left. Good, back to neutral. I'm stepping back, other leg comes forward. Same thing here, I'm gonna squeeze my glute on my left side, your left side. Tuck the hip under, so that way I'm opening up the hip flexor, I'm opening up the quad, I can feel that stretch. Arms are up, deep breath in. On the exhale, leaning towards the right and kicking that hip out. So you should feel the hip flexor and the quad. Come back to neutral, switch it out, and over. Good, breathe in. So I've got a posterior, posterior hip alignment here. And then I'm kicking that out, opening up. Good, I hope you can feel it, I can feel it. And keep going, going with the breath. Squeeze that glute, and over. Good, one more each side. Breathe in, 
Deep breath out. Good, last one. Nice, good, arms come down. Awesome. Let's do some IT bands. IT bands are really tough to stretch, if not impossible. <laughs> um, the best thing I use, foam roller for IT band. I can, you know, using the bottom of your palm and just going from the hip down to the knee. If you have knee pain, it's probably from your IT bands, probably just too tight. There might be an imbalance there. I see that more often than not. Um, you can also use the Theragun. The Theragun is that pressure gun that you may have seen me use before. It is like a dream if you have access to a Theragun <laughs> or you're looking for a gadget, I highly recommend it. Okay, so now, instead of going forward, we're now gonna go to the side. I'm gonna cross my leg over, I'm gonna square my hips off, my arms are gonna come up. Whatever direction my back leg is going, that's where my upper body is going. So you're creating a bow. So I'm pinning my foot and creating this, this arch, kicking my hip out. Good, step together. Cross over, pin. Woo, did you hear that? <laughs> my hip just popped. Beautiful. Deep breath in. Good, come back. Deep breath out. Good, we're stretching also the oblique. We're stretching the lats, the serratus. Oh God, so good. Keep going. Good, so as you get more flexible, the length between your, your feet your toes will become more and more. One more each side. So making sure that this hip, the back hip doesn't get lost. So if there was a mirror in front of you, you should be able to see both hips, okay? Last one. Here we go, cross and open up. Beautiful, good. Whew. Next, we're gonna do external rotation of this hip and the glute. So the hip, right, the pelvis, has a front, has a side, and has a back. So we did the side, we did the front. So let's do the back. So I'm gonna cradle stretch here. I'm pinning and resting my ankle on the top of my thigh. I'm sitting my hips back. So if I look on the side, it'll look like I'm sitting in a chair, sitting back. Good. Hold on to the wall if you want. It's not about balance so much as it is about getting into the tissue. So here, pushing on this knee will give you a bigger stretch. You should feel this right in the deep socket of the hip where the hip meets the femur and into the glute. Good. Let's switch. Dig your feet into the ground. If you're not feeling balanced here, there's no sense of doing this. Feel balanced here first. Be in the moment, feel grounded. Then the leg comes up and then we sit down. Putting pressure in the knee if you want to or feel like you have to. Something that I do a trick is you can grab onto the tissue of the upper leg and then just externally rotate the tissue. So you're pulling the quad and you get a different angle of stretch. For this hip, for my hip here, this one feels best if I do that. I've had some injuries on this side. Okay, other side. Good, you can rotate that hip out. Breathe. Good, one more. Good, woo, <laughs> balance today. Good, okay. Lastly, when we think of the pelvis, we don't necessarily think of the inner thigh, but the inner thigh inserts up into the groin, the groin becomes tight, it influences the hip. So here we go. We're gonna pin our foot on the ground and we're gonna lean away from that pin foot. I'm leaning back like I'm leaning in a chair. My back is flat. I'm here, breathe out. Breathe in here, deep breath out. So I'm moving my hips so they're over top of this heel. I'm pinning this foot, keeping this knee straight. Breathe in, move the hip over top of the heel. Breathe in, breathe out, and over. Good, one more each side. Maybe we put our hands down the inside of that foot. Yeah, maybe come as low as we can. We can flex this foot now, keeping the back flat. Beautiful. Come up, down, flex that foot. Two hands on the inside. 
Good. Into the center now. Let's stretch the hamstrings, shoulder blades. Good. Slowly come up. One vertebrae at a time. Whew. All the way up. Beautiful. Lovely. Good job. Those four stretches, yeah, are just a miracle for the hips. I feel them much more looser now. Um, wonderful. So your morning prompt today uh, really has to do with my word of the day, which is stillness and the fact that today can be a rest day. And it seems like it's a rest day for a lot of you. So what I wanted to ch chat about is just how to be in the moment. So we hear mindfulness and being present. We hear that concept all the time. We hear meditation. We talk about the value of meditation. But I want to give you um, a tip that can really help you really know how to be in the moment. Because we throw it around so much, but we just... We just sort of assume that everybody knows what that means. And I would venture to guess that a lot of us, we try to be in the moment, but sometimes we just don't know how to drop into the moment because our head is spinning, there's a lot going on, or what. So, how we're gonna be in the moment today, it's very simple. The, whenever you catch yourself being in your head, that's, what being, that's the opposite of being in the moment. Being in your head means you're not present here. So if we think about the matrix, like when you're in your head, you're in the matrix. <laughs> and when you're in the moment, you're not in your head. So that's the first thing. So if you're in your head, you're not in the moment. Okay, that's the first like trigger, red flag. Okay, I'm not in the moment, I'm in my head. How you drop into the moment when you're in your head is you use your senses. The senses, the body, help you be in the moment. So what you could do if you notice you're in your head, you're kind of like staring off into space or glazing over, you're full of fear, anxiety, you're planning the future, you're thinking the past, you got sadness, you got something going on, you're trying to work something out in your mind, you're recycling old ideas, you're feeling stuff. The first thing to do is activate one of your senses. Ask yourself, what do I smell? That's the first way to drop into the moment. So you're smelling, Whatever's in the air, you're smelling an essential oil, you're smelling nothing, you're smelling the wind, you're smelling cookies being baked in the oven that are vegan and gluten-free and sugar-free and vinegar-free and feel good for you and have zucchini in them. <laughs> you're smelling something. The second thing is what do I feel? So I feel the ground against my shins, I feel my spine aligned over my hips, I feel tension in my shoulders. What do I feel? So if you're on the couch, I feel the fabric against my elbow, if you're in your computer chair, I feel the wheels underneath me, okay? So what do you feel, what do you sense, and then what do I look at? So I see the walls are white, I see it's a bit gray outside, I see some houses, I see a car. So it's dropping into the senses. That's how we become in the moment. So if that's something, a practice that you're looking to get better at, that's how you do it. Um, and so today, my morning prompt for you is obviously to how can you stay in the moment longer? And how can you practice being still and in the present moment? That's how we relieve anxiety and depression like that, is to stop getting in your head and actually live life. Life is happening now. Life is not in the future. Life is not in the past. That's over and done with. Um, or it hasn't happened yet, or probably won't happen the way you want it to happen anyway. So what's the point? Let's be here now. Okay? Sending you lots of love. Thanks for joining me guys this morning. It's always a pleasure. I hope your hips feel mobile and feel good. If you have any questions, I'm always here. Um, um, you're being rude. <laughs> uh, and thank you so much for joining me guys. I love that you're always here. And um, I will see you tomorrow. Sending you a great day. And see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. See you guys later. Bye.